Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zachariah the Ghost. Guys, I was just watching episode 3 and episode 4 of DJ's in Class reality TV show. It is just one of those slow TV shows that if you are in a hurry and you're expecting entertainment, you are going to miss a lot. Because I just listen to a lot of reviews when people are like reviewing that TV show. You know, they are disappointed about the TV show, but they are not, you know, taking their time to look at what the writer or the director or the producers of this TV show, they are trying to tell us. Because clearly we know DJ Zinclair, she's a businesswoman, she's into the entertainment space, but she doesn't put that too much. You know, for the first four episodes, it was about her personal life, it was about her, you know, introducing, you know, the newborn baby or the upcoming baby to everyone who is the friend and family. And one more thing that I just realized on this TV show is that when it comes to DJ Zinclair, you know, family and a team, it is very much important. She is showing people that, you know, behind the success, you know, there is people who are working very hard, making sure that they are, you know, organizing those meetings, making sure that she look good, others are running her businesses. You know, they are helping her a lot so that she can manage everything. And there is a time whereby DJ Zinclair was talking to the house manager, the helper, and she was like saying, you know what, I think, you know, we will need you know, someone to come and help us since we are going to have, you know, the new baby, Asante. And I, I remember when I looked at the lady who was helping her, you know, she was not happy about it. She didn't see that as a help because of DJ Zinclair, she is thinking, you know, about her. She knows that it's going to be difficult for her because a newborn baby, in most cases, they don't normally sleep early. Sometimes they will be up by 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and they will be crying. You have to attend the baby. And now DJ Zinclair, she's a businesswoman and she's in the entertainment business. Sometimes she has to go out and perform, you know, to her gigs. And imagine if she's left with, you know, the, the young child or Asante and... She has to take care of the child until 4, 5, 4 o'clock in the morning. And she has to carry on to make sure that she, you know, take care of Cairo and make sure that the house is clean and everything is prepared. Because she still has to do the laundry. She still has to iron and do all these type of things and make sure that the house looks good. So DJ Zinti, because of she care a lot about it. She is thinking, you know, for her, of saying, you know what, I should, you know, help her by bringing somebody. But on the other side, when you look at it, the lady understands that there will be a competition. Once there is another woman who will be working in there, there will be a competition. And competition is bloody. Everybody knows it. Because, you know, it does happen in most cases. We all know the story. We all know that it doesn't end well. You know, and it becomes that thing that someone will go and say certain things to, you know, DJ Zinclair. And DJ Zinclair will get, you know, different information from these different ladies and at the end it's going to be like who do you trust the most and things will start changing the water which is mopping you know the tile is going to be different right now because it's going to be having some pink whatever in there and that's how it begins so i understand why she fear for that because of it's very difficult to find somebody who sit down with you who discuss things with you because when i look at that lady she's like Managing the house, you know, she is doing everything she like, you know, to that house because DJ English is always out She's always performing if she's not on her gig at her gigs She has to go and take care of business and go to have meetings and stuff, you know And I understand why she wants to make sure that she hold on to that opportunity and make sure that she's the only one because she said look Cairo, she's old enough now, you know, I can pay more attention to the newborn baby but you know, you don't have to worry much about it. I can do everything. We know it's because of she doesn't want that too much pressure. And we cannot even touch that. Many, many women know that story. We, we grew up with people who have been working, you know, into this, uh, you know, I wanted to say white people's houses because they always own houses before black people can go and own houses in the suburbs. But now things have changed. Even us black people, we stay in the suburbs and sometimes we are looking for help time after time. Somebody who can come and become, I hate to call them a helper, you know, a house manager. And on the other side, that relationship, I mean, I have to say it's, it's beautiful, it's great because of it shows that it's not about the money. 
you know, she still respects that lady, although she is the one who is, you know, employing that lady. She's the one who's paying that lady. She is not taking advantage of saying, because of I'm the boss, I'm the one who pays you and make decisions. You just wake up early in the morning and there is somebody in the house and they're saying, this woman, she will be helping you. You know, that move of her, talking to her, you know, making her understand, because I understand that, you know, it's going to take time because the lady, you know, must be convinced, like, listen, we understand what you're doing in this house. You are always going to be the best, but you will have to get someone. Imagine if the baby, she's crying the whole night, and now by 5 o'clock, you have to wake up and carry on with your daily duties. It's going to be difficult for you, mama. Allow somebody to come and deal with the cleaning. Maybe that person will do the cleaning, the laundry, and some other stuff. You can still cook if you like cooking and you can pay more attention to Asante. I think that's going to be fair and I think she will eventually have to agree because if she cannot cope with two children and she still have to clean the house and everything. And there was this scene that I enjoyed a lot when DJ Zinkle was sitting down with Meta Bones. You know, they were like talking about what to expect. You know, DJ Zinkle was telling Meta Bones about you know what will happen when she go for operation because she has some complication with her pregnancy in a way that the doctors has to go and help her you know with the operation so that she won't lose the baby one thing that i really liked about that it was that meta bones was like paying attention you know he was listening to dj zinke when she was telling him about you know the whole process he was even concerned of saying what will happen days after you come back from you know the the hospital should i worry what should I do, you know? And I like that because of he is very caring. He wants to know what he can prepare for. If maybe she will be laying down for some couple of days, if he should be around, maybe help with sitting things, you know? That's very smart. And also, I saw, you know, when she was talking to Oskiro, Oskiro is like the father to her, you know? We all know that, you know, her older brother is the one who is, like, always close, is the one who is, you know, taking care of, you know, that fatherly space, you know, making sure that, you know, they all respect and understand the principles of the family, you know, as he is the older brother. But I, I see the, the, the deep connection with Oskiro, because when she's with Oscar, you know, she is, she is just, you know, like a, a daughter who loves and adores the father, you know, they sit down, they, they talk about things and she told Oskiro that um, I'm pregnant and she even revealed that the first time when she was pregnant with Cairo, you know, Oskiro gave her like 200,000, you know, just to say you're pregnant, I'm here, I support you and we all know how Oskiro really supported, you know, DJ Zinke. That was very great to see that, you know. The director did well to, to show us that and even Oskiro was very happy and was like saying children are blessings, you know, and he supported her all the way. I like that, you know, but one thing that I was just a bit worried about, it was, was just how the young brother was like addressing, you know, um, Meta Bones, how she, how, how he was like, but that was not the right way, you know, because he was like saying, Umaki Peace, you know, the guy from Pretoria who always wear a hat and that, that, that's not the way you should address me, man, if I'm, I'm dating your sister. You know, I know if you're watching this video, you like, you'll be saying, thank God you're not dating my sister. But I'm just saying, in general, when somebody is as dating your sister, and if somebody has a child with your sister, just show respect, I man. just call the person by the name, you know. But the way he is like talking when he talks about him it's, it's not right and there was a there was a scene whereby he was like telling his girlfriend that you know um the guy must youtube doesn't allow the weight but actually he was like have to come and have three cows and all these type of things for paying for damages and the, the other sister the, the girlfriend to the guy was like saying why three cows why him why must it be three cows when it comes to him you know you didn't come with three cows for for the damages and now you, you can tell how the brother feel about books you know you, you, there is no secret and you can tell that maybe the brother was cool with aka we know these things they do happen you know if your sister was dating somebody that you were very cool with that sister i assumed you know by the way he's like addressing the other one just you don't even 
call his name, you know. And we all see that, you know, AKS mother commented, you know, last time about, on the social media about, you know, she, she's there, she'll be there to, to take care of, you know, um, Asante. She's there if they will need extra help and all this type of stuff. And so far, we didn't hear anything from Metabong's mother. We didn't hear anything from the sister. You know, that really concerned me a bit. You know, I'm just looking at that and I'm like, in, in most cases, you know, my, my family should be should be very involved unless if maybe Meta Bones doesn't have a good relationship with his family. It happens because Tao we know that is very good with his family. We see him on Instagram, you know, posting his you know parents, you know, them Pretoria having quality time because I follow you know you know um Tao a lot because I am Tao of course and you know black motion they're great. But I think Meta Bones is, is more private. I don't I don't see him much, you know, uh, putting a lot of stuff on, on, on the social media. I will start following him a lot, maybe I'll know a little bit more about him because even the relationship with him and and the other lady that I will most mention the name Tuli. Yeah. And you know, we, we didn't know much about it. We only heard about it after the breakup of oh, by the way, he used to date, you know. I think it's more private. He's is a private the guy was very private and, and I wanted to say private guy, but the guy was very private. And the TV show is great, guys. I know there are certain things that, you know, they are showing us, but they know that we are going to miss, you know, and it is what it is, but I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. I think she's still, she's still pretty much in love with AKA, but we can say that because AKA is the baby father, you know, we can say that because of is the first guy who gave her a child but you know she's mentioning him a lot and i understand the relationship between meta bones and aka you know when she's talking about yeah it's good for the children but remember you know she's the one who approached aka and remember that even when they were going to that trip of botswana if i'm not mistaken she said she was with aka and i think she also said black motion was there by the time they were there. That means, you know, she had a great relationship with, you know, Black Motion from back in the days, the guys. And there was a time when she was at podcast in Chile when she mentioned that, you know, she, uh, after breaking up with, with AKA, she had, you know, a dance with um, a well-known DJ, but she didn't, you know, mention the name of the DJ that she was like seeing or dating. But we can assume that that person was made a so We can assume that since she didn't reveal the name of the person at Metabongs, it appears that he's a DJ and yeah, she was dancing with him and the unexpected happened and now we have, you know, the child. But it is what it is. It is a great TV show. So much is happening here, you know, and I'm happy to see, you know, DJ Zinclair, you know, touching the ancestral, you know, issue because she also speak about ancestral. Remember on episode one or episode two, she spoke about ancestors, you know, and the brother was very happy to hear DJ Sinclair, you know, acknowledging the ancestors, you know, acknowledging those who were here before us, you know, the generation before us, because they shouldn't be forgotten, you know. It doesn't mean when you speak about ancestors, you have to practice certain things, you know, you just have to acknowledge them that they're there, you know, and it's a good thing. And even now when I had her talking about, you know, the ancestral, spiritual drum or ancestral spiritual music thing that makes her you know produce great music because she said she's not pressurized you know she has to wait for that ancestral or spiritual or you know there is just that voice has just come to her that tells her that it is the time to produce music or when she feels like she's in that zone that ancestral space whereby she can create great music you know and I'm happy to see, you know, more celebrities or more African people, you know, acknowledging the African spirituality, you know, acknowledging that ancestral, you know, space is there, you know, it's not everybody who can practice, you know, ancestral space is not for everybody, but I'm happy for people acknowledging their roots, acknowledging where they're from, you know, acknowledging that, you know, these are the things that in, they were taboo to speak about them on the public platform where people speak about ancestors. But I'm happy to see them, you know, talking about ancestors openly. I saw Dino Ranaka, you know, she's also speaking about it. I saw she's changed her hair, you know. And we, we know a lot of, you know, 
our celebrities they're like taking that ancestral space or ancestral root which is good you know because you know the generation that will come after us will all, always know that you know ancestors are there you know and um sometimes you just have to give them respect and i appreciate you guys showing me love and support i just wanted to speak about that there were so many things which are happening and i didn't want to be the guy who sound like you know i am you know, looking at things differently of saying, why don't I see Bongani's family? Maybe it's what they decided to do. And maybe even when the young brother of DJ Zinke started talking about addressing, D, D, you know, DJ Metabones as Umfana or Mikey Peace, you know, that was very disrespect. Maybe they did that for numbers, you know. Maybe they did that for viewerships. Maybe they spoke with him and he, he think it's cool. There was nothing wrong with it, you know. It is what it is, but you know the TV show is there. It's it's a TV show, guys. It's not a documentary. They show us what they want to show us. We can just review what we want to review and talk about what we we want to talk about, and it's perfectly fine. You know, it's there for the public for us to speak about it. If they put it out there, that means it's okay for people to review the film or to review the TV show. And I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.